Hey guys, I hope you are having a great day today. Um, if you guys follow me, clearly my hair is not red right now. It will be back. I'm in the process of color correcting right now. I was experimenting with different dyes and I was using the semi-permanent to keep the red vibrant as it fades and I do not like it. It looked nice when I first put it on, but as it faded, it faded to pink and I just just couldn't take it anymore. You know, I tried to keep up with it, keep refreshing, but I just, and not only does it fade to pink, but it, it stains. It It's so hard to get out. You have to just wash and wash and scrub, and I just, I couldn't take it anymore. Um, the permanent dye that I use, which is the L'Oreal High Color, um, I have been using that for years, ever since I started going red, and I love that stuff. When that stuff fades, it fades to this, this color right here, this like, um, I guess it's like a strawberry blonde um that i love it's really nice no pink there's still a little bit of pink now i'm still in the process of removing it but it's it's a lot better now than what it was so this isn't going to be a tutorial style video i'm just going to be showing you guys the products that i've been using and explaining the process of removing unwanted dye from your hair or stripping your hair whatever you want to call it so uh, this is mainly if you put like a semi-permanent or if you dyed your hair a permanent color and it's, it's too dark and you want to, you know, because all hair dye eventually it fades. Red fades the fastest. It's the most difficult to keep in your hair, but there's a lot of dyes out there. You know, sometimes it comes out dark or whatever the situation is, this is something that may work for you. Um, I did some research. I saw different methods and this is just what I came up with and it was just really simple. I was surprised at how simple. Um, you don't need to bleach. You don't need to put, put any type of crazy chemicals in your hair. I actually would recommend staying away from that, especially if you have been dyeing your hair a lot because you're already putting, your hair already has so many chemicals in it. You don't want to put more harsh chemicals. So well, I'm going to insert a picture of how my hair looked when I started the process, when it was still pretty bright red. Um, I will put the picture right here. So that's how my hair looked um, before I started the process and then this is where I'm at now a little bit over a week later. All you're gonna need is some head and shoulders, regular old head and shoulders and Dawn dish soap. I know it sounds crazy to put dish soap in your hair but trust me, it works. So I mixed these two and I also was using vitamin C powder briefly but I stopped using it. I went through the little box, but I stopped using it because I think I'm a little bit allergic. My face, I was breaking out in hives. It wasn't anything crazy, but I noticed, I noticed when I stopped using it that no more hives. So I chose not to continue with the vitamin C powder, but the process has been working the same with just these two. So I'm gonna continue to do these. So all I would do is just mix these two together. I'll just slather it all over my hair, um, put my hair on top of my head, and I'll leave the shampoo in. And I put a lot, like literally just soak it in there, really rub it in there. Um, it's gonna seem a little terrifying at first because shampoo is, these are very, very harsh shampoos. That's the thing you wanna use. Shampoos, soaps that have harsh ingredients so it gets the color out. You literally need to strip the color out of your hair. So I just get it all in there. Um, and then when your hair is completely saturated, you want to lather it up. So if you need to add a little water, if you just start massaging, just like you're washing your hair, just like you would do in the shower, because it starts to activate the product and it's gonna help get the color out of your hair. So after I do that, I would just put, you're not supposed to technically pile your hair on top of your head with shampoo, but I just like it out of my way. So you can put it in a bun, put it on top of your head, a clip, however you want to do it. And I would leave it for an hour. That seems like a long time and I was really scared because I don't use shit. I have curls, I have dry hair. I don't use, usually use shampoo like this, but it's okay. As long as you, you rinse it all out and you slather your hair in conditioner after, you'll be okay. Um, so after an hour, I'll go, I'll rinse it out and I will soak my hair in conditioner. I will put tons of conditioner to replenish the moisture.
So the conditioner that I have been using after I shampoo, after I rinse the shampoo out of my hair, I've been using Tresemme. Surprise, surprise, being a natural hair person. Um, I usually try to stick with more natural products. I'm not super, super picky with ingredients, but you know, I try to, I look at them and I pay attention to what my hair likes. This stuff, it's only $5 for this big bottle. It smells amazing. I found this stuff um, through my, my hairdresser, the person who cuts my hair. He used this the first time he cut my hair and he was the first person who knows how to cut curly hair. He was the first one, he was the first person I went to that knew how to work with curly hair. And he gave me an amazing haircut. Um, it was after I big chopped my heat damage and he put some nice layers. I remember looking in the mirror and I was just like, oh my God, I didn't know that my hair could do that. He's amazing. I have been going to him ever since. I don't trust anyone else with my hair. But he used this actually to, to wash and condition my hair. And I just remember the smell and my hair of course looked fabulous after I left. So I wanted to get it after I went to him, but I ended up finding some other things, which I still use and love now. I just, I hesitated because the ingredients, you know, it's, it's not a, a natural hair product, but if you really look, they're not too bad. You know, it's not loaded, loaded with silicones. There's dimethicone, which I don't mind. My hair doesn't mind it. There's keratin and marula oil in the middle of the ingredients list, which means the higher up on the list it is, the better. That means there's more in there. If it's lower on the list, you know, sometimes some products, they'll be like, oh, it has this, 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 and this, but it'll be at the bottom, which means there's probably literally this much in there. So I have to say my hair loves this stuff. It literally feels so silky. It's so easy to detangle. I just, I'm mad I didn't try it sooner. And my hair does not feel stripped at all. It actually feels really soft. It looks really voluminous. I mean, obviously I'm just, I'm washing, I'm washing, I'm washing. So my hair is super clarified right now. I know when I'm done with this process, I'm not gonna wash, I'm not gonna wanna use shampoo in my hair for a while, but I'll do that after I get out. I won't style my hair as usual. I've actually been styling with conditioner just to keep adding moisture. And I've been using the Trader, Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle, which is one of my favorites. Um, literally, this is all I put. All I put, just slather it in there, um, let it dry, shake it out with some oil. And this was my end result. I mean, it's not, for not putting products in it, this is kind of crazy to me. It's not gonna last. I mean, by day two, you have to throw it in a bun, but I've been washing my hair every day for a little over a week now, which is crazy. I'm surprised I have hair left on my head because I never wash my hair that much. So it, it's okay. Um, you know, this is good for a day, but if you just style your hair with conditioner, it's not, you, you do need some hold. So if you want this to last longer, I would add a gel on top of it. So that is how I've been removing the pink dye from my hair. There's not much left. It's hard to see on camera. There's a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna do it for a few more days. It's been over a week. I've washed my hair every day for over a week. And this, this is my result. Um, it is a process. It does, it's effective, you know, like I see the pink coming out, but it is gonna take more than one try. It depends on what color you have in your hair, how much is in there. So if you do choose to do this, don't expect it all to happen on the first the first try. Give it a few days. Um, if you want to space it out, you don't have to do it every day. I'm just, I just wanted to get it out. I couldn't take it anymore. But I will eventually go back to the red. I'm just going to give my hair a break, grow it out a little bit. And um, I've been doing some research on how to get the color back that I want. I want, I want this color right here that I get from the permanent dye. I want it to fade like that. So in order to do that, I was researching, you have to use a filler you have to put pigment back in your hair because this blonde right here, the pigment is gone because I've been, you know, putting the permanent dye over and over and it just, it removes that pigment. So when you put the pigment back in, then you can put the dye over it and get that color back. So it's a learning experience. You guys know how it is with color. But anyway, if you are looking to remove color, I would highly, highly recommend this. Please don't. 
Don't spend all this money going to the salon. I mean, if you're really clueless, you're really scared, you don't know what you're doing, yes, go to a salon, but this is literally stuff you can get at Walmart, drugstore, it's dish soap and head and shoulders. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I had to buy a few bottles because I have a lot of hair, but it's, I'm really, really happy with this process and my hair surprisingly feels okay and I have very, very dry hair. But anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.